Yeah, you know when you come on the plane, <laughs> yeah. it takes it oh, from you. That's right, they would. Hey, so yeah. you, you put that in, in the so bag, if right? If people get it and bring it in your handbag, you yeah. lose that. Yeah. yeah. You can pick it up when you come back. Percy Sledge has been nominated for Grammy. He's inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And one of his songs is just one of the biggest love songs of all time. Percy Sledge, you have a very special relationship with South Africa. You toured here in the 1980s and a lot of people remember it fondly. What's it like being back? It was unbelievable and I've never played a tour anywhere as powerful as uh, South Africa. That's the reason why it means so much. I've never made as many friends in one, one town like Cape Town. Now, legend has it that you wrote your hit When a Man Loves a Woman for a model girlfriend while you were working on the railroad and that she left you to pursue a modeling career. Is that true? I don't talk about the, the story of the lady that uh, I wrote the song about because I'm remarried now and my wife don't want to hear me talk about that. <laughs> but I've told it for over 40 years and so a lot of people know, uh, know the true story about that. So 20 years later, the song gets picked up by Michael Bolton and gets picked up by a big movie and it has a resurgence and a new generation of fans. What does that feel like when you're sitting at a home hearing your song on the radio again and it's on the movies, but it's been done by somebody else? It's a great feeling because you take Percy Sledge, I've did uh, uh, some of the most greatest artists in the world, music like Elvis and just name it, you know, and, and to be living to hear singers as great as Michael Bolton do my songs and different people in the world, it's a great feeling. I saw a picture of you with B.B. King on Facebook a couple of days ago and I thought, man, that's incredible. That's like rich music history there. Well, you I, and B.B. Uh, King it's together. It's like a daddy to me, you know, B.B. King. Uh, when I came out in 1966, he took me out to breakfast at three o'clock in the morning. Atlantic Records had gave me a birthday party, a surprise birthday party. And B.B. Uh, King, uh, everybody was there, James Brown, you know. And he took me out to dinner in a Bentley. He bought a brand new Bentley right there on Open Avenue that same night, right, paid cash. <laughs> and uh, he sit me down, we had breakfast, and he talked to me for like two or three hours. And he gave me so much great advice, you know, about how to take care of myself and that I had one of the most greatest records he had ever heard. Now, you know, coming from a guy like B.B. King, that was a legend thing right there, you know. And what's it like being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? When Rod Stewart gave me that trophy that night, it looked like something that went all through me that I had never felt before. It looked like I could feel all the years, all the rain, the snow, the, the jungles, the mosquito bites, everything. It looked like it just went through my mind in just a split minute when I reached and got that trophy, you know, all the work that I have done for so many years. When a Man Loves a Woman is your big, big hit. And I'm sure you've sung it a million times, but if I ask you really nicely today, can we hear a bit, please? When a man loves a woman, can't keep his mind on nothing else, he'll change the world for the good thing he's found. <laughs>